What's up, people? Hello there again, everybody. David again, right here with one of the tutorials that I've been posting on YouTube. This time around, we will be discussing Microtik and static DNS entries. As many of you may know, DNS stands for Domain Name System. That's what makes the internet go round. What's DNS? Let's see. If you want to go to www.dgh, no, let's call that Facebook, so you can hack away. And you hit enter, you see that it's easier for human beings to remember www.facebook.com that remembering 31.13.73.crap. So DNS was invented to make our lives easier. But this is a very complex topic which I will not go deep into. So what I want to discuss here is that using, I mean, your microtic, you can emulate something like the domain name system that controls the internet. DNS is the thing that makes names translate into IP addresses. And all of you know that IP addresses are the base of the internet. If you do not have a DNS, you cannot go into the internet. You would have to learn all of these addresses. Well, let's see. What about Google? If I would like to go search uh, that website for the Rangers uh, tickets that I want to, the, the game that I want to go to, I would have to type into my browser 181.48.254.212. Um, let's see about that. Let's go to Chrome. And let's use that IP address that I just uh, copied from here and put it into my browser. Oh, voila, that's Google. So Rangers tickets, there you go. You would have to memorize all of that just to go to Google. So DNS, so come on guys. Come on, come on, move on. Go to the go to the real thing. So Microtik, okay, okay, just chill out. Microtik will work just like a DNS server in a very basic way, but it will. So you go to IP, you go to DNS, you go to static, and there you'll see this window. And you say, well, what in the world would I need DNS for or static entries for? Okay, mister. Well, you may need static DNS if you have a server that you, your users, to be able to remember by name, not by an IP. So let's go ahead and create a static entry. I have a... Um, an OpenStack server that I want to go to uh, not using the IP address but an easier to remember name uh, and what would that be so uh, let's make that OS OpenStack dot DGH VoIP dot com and what's the IP for that server well that's 172.16 dot zero dot ten the TTL or time to leave is the time that you want the register or the registry to leave so uh, one day is more than enough so let's hit apply then OK and to make sure that we are not cheating we're going to do IP config slash flush DNS as admin so we flush the DNS resolver cache and then we ping 
os dot dgh voip dot com and there you go this name is being resolved by your microtick how you make sure that that's happening well you create your records and you either manually set under your operating system in my case I'm going um, to use Windows 10 you click your networking device you go into properties you go into IPv4 and you make sure that your DNS um, your primary DNS server is pointing to your microtic device that way your static DNS entries will be the first ones that will be queried by your DNS resolver so um, let's say I want to call I want to create a um, let's uh, make David dot microtech dot com and I want to um, uh, let's ping www.microtech.com and I'm going to fake a DNS record so I'm gonna copy this and paste this IP right here uh, 96 so if I want to go to David dot microtech.com there you go your microtech device is being queried for the first time to make uh, to go and resolve that david.microtech.com to what IP so if you want your devices or your microtech to override your DNS resolver you can go ahead and create right here the entries that you want your users to go to so the idea is that you can create static entries for your local servers or your remote servers and you can make sure that your users if they are using your microtech order as their DNS server go to the right address or the right host so sorry about my throat I've been through a uh, very uh, hard cold these days and uh, remember if you like the video comment rate subscribe and remember that we're offering microtech training at www.dghvoip.com that's www.dghvoip.com you can contact me email me skype me or whatever and i will be glad to tell you about our upcoming trainings thank you remember comment rate subscribe the button down down there down down there thank you and goodbye